the whole production schedule of the movie was predicated upon how corn grows. We learned that you plant corn on a certain date, I think it was somewhere in April. I wanted the first scene of Kevin and the corn hearing the voice for the first time to take place when the corn is shoulder high. And we figured, okay, four foot, whatever that is, or five foot, whatever that is, what date will that be? And our farm advisor, Eldon Trum, said that'll be about June 20th. Well, Kevin had a, what we call a stop date. Kevin had to leave us to go shoot Revenge no later than August 15th. So if we scheduled corn scenes from June 20th to August 15th, it fills up that schedule. The non-corn scenes would all have to be shot before June 20th. So that's why we started the end of May. We had to shoot the corn scenes in sequence because corn grows very quickly. At, at some point in its life cycle, it grows two to three inches a day. So in May, we're in town, we're in the farmhouse, we're doing all the interiors and other scenes. And uh, our field is being planted. And every couple of days, I'd look at nothing, <laughs> this field of dirt, you know, and I'd say to our farm advisor, where's our corn? He says, well, you know, it's a drought. I said, oh, yeah, drought, right, okay. And I'm off shooting, and then he'd say, oh, you know, this is really a bad drought. I'd say, yeah, it's pretty terrible. Not quite realizing the impact this was about to have on my life. And finally, one day, when he, I, I saw the corn was about this high, and I said, Eldon, I, I'm no farmer, but I got grass bigger than that at home, you know? And he said, that's your corn. I said, no, 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 corn. Remember corn, June 20th up to here? He says, no, June 20th may be ankle high. And then we, us smart city slickers realized uh, what trouble we were in. We were in the worst drought since the Dust Bowl. I, I couldn't have the opening scene be Kevin walking through ankle high corn saying, I hear a voice, you know? Um, so we decided we were going to take the few days that we had saved of interiors, we call them rain cover. You always keep a few days at the end of the schedule of interiors so that as you're shooting, if it rains, you have some sets you can run into and shoot inside. We moved all of those up and we irrigated. We dammed up the creek, we trucked in water, we irrigated the whole field. We devised this uh, wonderful irrigation system and irrigated um, our particular piece of land. And the farmer says, what are you doing? You, you, that's not going to work because rain comes down out of the sky and it picks up nitrogen as it falls. You're, digging, you're taking water out of the ground. That's not going to give you corn ears. And we said, we're not after corn ears. We're after corn that's taller than Kevin Costner. <laughs> I, in fact, investigated fake silk corn. We had ordered, I don't know, 300,000 stocks of it uh, uh, from Taiwan and, and, and said, we, we, we want it, but we're not sure when we need it yet, so we'll just put it on hold. And uh, luckily we didn't need it because the corn was the right height. And I think that we delayed hitting the corn by about 10 days. That 10 days got us corn that was so tall that in the second shot of Kevin hearing the voice, he's elevated, he's on apple boxes, he's walking on an elevated plank because the corn is so high.